Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shalma here. Welcome to Gadget Reviews. Today in this video, we are taking a look at the Akpotel BNV21 night vision binoculars. Now, these binoculars came uh, through a contact and they said that these are on a Kickstarter and, uh, you know, still not released yet. And if I could uh, test them and do a video review, and I said, okay, it's fine. Binoculars are always an interesting thing. So these are BNV21. They have incorporated a night vision in the binoculars. And also notice that these can actually take still shots and record videos with sound, but in 720p only so we'll talk about their features later they came in this kind of box right here inside the box was this carry case now check this out and please do remember that i have been testing it so it might have some uh you know uh, fingerprints stands and dirt on it because we have been testing it during day and night and even i took it out in the rain so this is the BNV21 night vision binoculars. That's how they came in the box. Okay, as you can see, there are infrared sensors on the front for night vision. It's a battery compartment here. Uh, it's like kind of monocular at one side only, and then they are taking it uh, into the digital part and turning the image into digital. And by the way, it also have a digital zoom. Okay. So on the front it says field of degree 7 degree x 5.25 degrees. That doesn't sound too much, does it? Uh, I mean, I have used, go uh, not goggles, binoculars, which were more than 10x something or 10x 12. So anyway, right here, as you can see, there's a TF card slot and a USB port, okay, USB-C. That means you can connect it to your computer and use your computer screen to view whatever you are viewing from these binoculars. On top here, as you can see, there's a up and down buttons, okay? They, can, they also increase the zoom and decrease the zoom. And also you can navigate the menus. Then we have menu, we have mode, and you can also use the built-in menu to change three different uh, color profiles, uh, color modes, uh, like game mode, normal mode, stuff like that. And then we have night vision button to turn the night vision on and off. An on off button, which also serve as recording the videos and taking pictures, okay? So these are the buttons. Then down here at the left side, you have the focus dial, just like uh, binoculars have. So you have to focus. Ah, look at that. There's dirt in there. We were playing fireworks last night and using it uh, at night as well. So there's a nice big screen and you can watch from here whatever your binoculars are seeing. Okay. And also you notice that there's a big area so that people wearing glasses, they can still wear glasses and view through these binoculars. Nice and comfy, the plastic, uh, you know, soft plastic right here. The grip is also very nice, you know, it's comfortable to hold, but slightly heavy for kids, I would say. And down here we have a slot for you to, you know, put it on tripod. Also came with the, uh, you know, the USB-C cable so you can connect it to your computer. Now this is this, we have been using it uh, during the day and night, so I just wanna show you very, very quickly what these binoculars do. So let's go and check out the videos and picture shot with these binoculars. I am focused on that boat there, on Epcotel, you can see. The question is, if I have this zoom camera during the daytime, definitely this zoom camera is better than the Epcotel goggles, sorry, binoculars. Because if I zoom in, this is what I see from this camera. And I still didn't turn on the digital zoom. This is the optical zoom on my Panasonic. Man, it's cold, it's really cold. Now I'm gonna start recording a video on uh, Epcotel binoculars. So I'll press the button. It's recording the video. Let me just uh, take a look inside. I have set the focus pretty nice. I can still probably tweak a bit more. And I have a very clear view of the boat. All right, as you can see, there is that buoy boat. And right from here, you can see how far it is. And inside the Epcotel binoculars, it's pretty clear.
Now see, that building over there, okay, under construction building, you know the distance. And see in here, I have a very clear picture, very clear view of those characters, cranes, and the building. So let me just take a picture of this right here. I record a simple video as well. And I'm gonna zoom in with my phone camera. Okay, shaky shaky and zoom out. Recording video. Dark trees. Turn on the night vision. Yeah, that's the night vision on. All right, thank you very much for watching this quick test video and a quick introduction of Ekpotel night vision binoculars. I'll put them down here. And for my conclusion, I'll keep it more like a feedback to the producers. And for that, I would like to say, number one, this is the age of 8K videos. So having to have a device that saves 720p low resolution videos and pictures, people are not gonna be interested in that device honestly a zoom camera during daytime and even a phone like iphone 12x they have amazing cameras even my uh one plus 7t phone has a camera that actually beats these video goggles during the daytime even when you talk about the pinching zoom it still takes very nice photos much more clear than the binocular photos taken during daytime. Now these binoculars do have an upper hand and that is their night vision capabilities. Obviously at night, if your phone camera doesn't have night vision, your HD digital zoom camera does not have night vision, they are pretty useless at night. But using these binoculars, you can turn on the night vision and start watching the area or wherever you are. You can watch things much more clear with the help of night vision technology. But do keep in mind that anything within 100 to 200 meters range, you can view them very, very clearly with the night vision in these binoculars. But anything farther than that, it is not very, very clear, to be honest. And I'm going to be much more honest here. The pictures taken at night in normal and uh, night vision mode are pretty useless because they're very low resolution, full of grains. So I would say, nah, those pictures are not satisfactory. So this is just my feedback. I hope the manufacturer of these uh, binoculars can improve these binoculars and provide us at least HD 1080p minimum video recording and photo recording in high resolution. And then these binoculars will be very, very useful, especially when it comes to watch wildlife at night, camping or doing your adventures at night. So thank you very much for watching this video. Give this video a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. There, come on.
Don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.